Hi guys, this is AC Game. I'm back with a new video on Punishing Grey Raven. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is talking about how to go ahead and play Punishing Grey Raven on the PC. So what you're going to need first of all is blue stacks or an emulator to go ahead and play. So right now you will be seeing on the screen blue stacks where you can go ahead and download it from. And after downloading blue stacks, you need to go ahead and download Q App APK. So by going to the Q App APK, you will be able to get the Punishing um, Grey Raven APK from there. Now, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on Punishing Grey Raven. Let's get to 10k subscribers. At 10k subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, after downloading the Blue Stacks, you need to open up the Blue Stacks Multi Instance Manager because to play the Blue Stacks, you need Nugget 64-bit. Uh, but when you download the game, I'm not really sure if it's just due to my issue. I downloaded the new Get 32-bit, so I had to make a new instance. So go ahead, make new instance, fresh instance, as you can see. Then go over to the 64 bits. Um, then you, then you can make the uh, brand new instance and go next. Because my PC is very very good, I went with high for everything. Um, if your PC is not that good, you can go with medium or something like that. Um, everything I left the same and then I, cre I created this brand new instant. Uh, as you can see, I already have three instances. But as you can see, I'm going to open up the Punisher Grey Raven review one. Um, this is where I first downloaded the Punisher Grey Raven. Now, if you guys are planning to revolt, this is going to be important. However, if you're not planning to revolt, you can just open up any instance or open up the brand new instance you made. Download them, um, go over to Q app first of all. Now, Q app is not on this instance, but it is downloaded on the first instant. But go ahead, download Q app on this put it over here and then get the punishing gray raven after getting punishing gray raven what you need to do is uh close this instance because if you guys are planning to reroll you need to close this do not touch your punishing gray raven then you need to clone this instance so you go to over to your clone instance and leave everything the same and then you clone it now it's going to have the apk file for punishing gray raven just in case you want to go ahead and reroll so you're going to open it up as you can see i got my brand new instance so i'm going to go ahead and open it up this is a good way because i believe punishing gray raven does not have any official clients out right now so you can't play the pc client there is no pc client to play plunge Great raven as you can see i opened up the brand new pc um new instance and i will open up the punishing Great raven now uh making sure the volume is not loud or um, active anyways this is my first ever recording of on my pc i did get a brand new pc so tell me down in the comment section if you want me to make more content on the pc and stuff like that but anyways as you can see punishing gray raven this one this instance has my account on it so when you download the instance or when you open up a punishing gray raven you're gonna see this key band already set for you i definitely go ahead and i would definitely recommend you guys to change this i will leave the opacity like so you can see it but this is how you can go you go over to the game control and you can remove the opacity you don't need to see the um, key binds and all of that stuff but as you can see um it works very very fine there we go so we're going to go over to setting i should have enlarged the screen um i'll do that later but you go over to graphics as you can see everything is custom there we go everything's enlarged as well ultra 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 we save that and there we go so this is how it's going to look like well my laptop is pretty good so it can run everything pretty smoothly um go over to the game controls actually no, we'll go back into a uh, match so we're going to go over to story and go over to the next one so you can take a look at how i set up my keybinds now you don't have to copy me set which one is all um the best for you because i have a laptop i set it so that it's closer to the wasp and um, we're going to skip through the story stuff who cares and um, let's go into it I am leaving up the opacity for the keybind so that you can see what I set all my stuff as. Um, there we go. So W A M S D. If I do intend to make more content on Punisher Grey Raven on my PC, I will leave the opacity off so you don't have to see all these numbers and letter stuff. But just so that you guys are like um, understand how some of this stuff has set. The first one will be default. You open this. This is how you edit everything. Um, as you go see, if you want to edit how stuff are, just press it. Press whatever key you want to set it as, and everything should be fine. And you make sure you remember all of this stuff. But after you get the right one, you save it. Now you close it, and now you can go ahead and play. Now, because I already remember um, which key does which, I'm just gonna go back to the game. After you edit it, you need to press the screen, and now you're able to move with your keybinds. Everything's set. You need to get used to it, obviously. Um, 
that was just me running around it's not like i my stuff messed up but there we go so this uh, this is me checking out the controls and stuff like that i did forget how to press that but you do need to remember all the stuff um if you want to do this easier easier um if you want to increase the opacity so you can remember what the um, you can see where the key binds are you can go ahead and do that there we go i dashed away i'm still trying to familiarize myself with pc obviously this is like my first time um playing with the pc and all the other stuff so i need to set this and make sure it works perfectly fine but as you can see there's no like lags or anything everything is pretty smooth the only issue you might find with this is like remembering what key does which so that when you go against harder boss content you need to be able to do all of this right and stuff like that so there we go the rest of the video is just going to be me beating um the stage The only time you need your mouse is when you press the skip button but as you can see i finished it the graphics stunning um i will make a beginner's guide for this game so stay tuned for that um i did leave my cursor so you can go ahead and see the cursor and if you don't want to see that i can change it when next time i make a recording on my pc um, i still need to figure out all of this stuff i'm still relatively new but there we go that is how you can play punishing gray raven on the pc so tell me down in the comment section if you guys are going to go ahead and do that um, or you guys just going to stick with mobile i think with mobile it's much more easier to do all of this stuff um if you don't want to stress yourself out but at the same time it's just like as long as you remember what key does which everything should be fine so yeah stay tuned for more content on punishing gray raven it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out